fans privateer fx coming at you on tuesday june 24th 23rd sorry june 23rd lively overnight with some comments from navarro that were immediately retracted about the trade uh deal with china being dead you can see on the charts everything had uh, this one hour chart everything had the big move bang Euro down to 34, Aussie Yen all the way down to 73.20, that's 83 points away. For those of you who are doing the arithmetic at home, equities down to 30.60. Uh, we were obviously asleep, this is 4 a.m. Uh, Swiss time, so we missed that. Gold, bang, bang. I don't know which way gold went. Gold's just annoying me. I guess it went lower, uh, down to 58 on this chart. Anyway, uh, not sure what's going to drive things today. It looks uh, relatively quiet on the calendar. We have these PMIs out, I guess. Um, French and German PMI services and manufacturing so that may move the euro uh, I don't know how seriously the market is going to take these releases uh, while we're still sort of in the midst of this sort of COVID fog uh, which is screwing up all all of the releases so we'll see uh, I guess you you might as well be prepared for vol 9:15 Swiss time, 9:30, and then 10 a.m. Swiss time. Um, but I'm not sure we're going to get any. After that, we got some monkey business. Uh, BOE Bailey later in the morning, uh, and then U.S. Services PMI um, 3:45. Nothing too, nothing too serious. Um, let's take a look. Dollars a week overall. This is um, the cable chart. Charts are now a little bit screwy because of that comment. Um, here's your cable chart, middle of nowhere, 124.46. Um, we went up to 125.06, 07 last night. Wow. Dollar Swiss just dancing around, doing nothing. Dollar Yen, man, almost broke last night. Down to 70. 73 but now we've bullish engulfed on a very small day yesterday but we have bullish engulfed so we got to be careful um we cut short dollar yen at 95 yesterday we were short dollar yen long gold that was um that was no joy but um this looks like it might bullish engulf i don't know what's driving dollar yen higher um but I do know that once we get through 106.50, uh, we're going to try a short position. Oh, this is what's driving dollar yen higher. Euro yen. Euro yen 120.70. Uh, 120.91 the high. Big bullish engulfing bar yesterday. And now we have confirmation and follow through. Up through 120.43. It was tricky, right? That that Navarro comment, if you were long Euro Yen. Gee wee. I will have cleaned out a few of the risk on positioning. Uh, certainly those who aren't trading real money style and are leaving stops would have been stopped in all of these. I bet dollars are traded to 50 close 46 this is an interesting port and dollars are now 50 uh, we will be getting involved that with that Aussie bullish engulfed remember yesterday when it was at 6902 pre-open I mean 6802 pre-open uh, we were short loving the price action loving the fear Whoops, bullish engulfed. Here we are. Makes no sense to me. Euro Aussie not doing much. Aussie Yen. Whoops, bullish engulfed. 
apples. How do you like them apples? My God. Anyway, we look mildly risk on. I don't really know uh, where to go with this. Kiwi. 65 the figure now. A couple of highs. 6507 another high. Is Kiwi going to launch itself? Dollar CAD's not doing much. That's probably the best chart point out there, the Kiwi chart. Do we take another assault at uh, 6587? And if the second wave of COVID doesn't happen, Kiwi, Kiwi's your horse. This is a, kind of the safest place on the globe. Um, and uh, could run with a uh, dollar sell theme. Don't mind being long Kiwi if the COVID second wave turns out to be nonsense. Crude. We still haven't touched 4108, which was the close of this bar here, March 6th, which was the big gap down open. So if you look closely, sorry, 4105. Oh shit, no, off that. Tonight, <clears throat> we went up to 4125. Next time up is not a sell. If you did sell it last night, which you should have, um, you want to sit with that. Gap's now been filled. Um, back up through this would be quite powerful. 41.24, the high. Um, look at that in Asia of all places. 1 a.m. Swiss time. Finally, let's look at gold. How how incredibly frustrating was that? I don't know what this price signifies, but we were trading um, July gold yesterday, which is about I don't know, I'd say six bucks cheaper than this. Um, but we saw it go up to seventy one, seventy two July gold, and then back down to fifty five. Uh, just totally rejected. Here's the same bar here. Totally rejected. This bar printed seventy nine. All the way back down to 64, quick 15 bucks, dicked around, back to 75, back to 58, $20 there. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with gold. I don't know why it doesn't want to break out. Maybe too many people are long. Got to keep an eye up here. One of these days it is going to go. Um, the flood of dollars in the world make gold an interesting trade for a lot of people the question is is how long is the market already long gold and also do you have the sanity to try and trade gold futures which are like 30 cents wide on a two lot uh, so is there even any point in uh, trying to trade that is just more frustrating than anything um, so anyway Got these uh, PMIs today. Euro is in the middle of the range. Not super helpful. Um, not a lot to do there. I guess if you if you want to look for some risk on setups, Kiwi could be your horse. Long Kiwi looks all right. Um, and then uh, if things do turn risk off, we go back to the old. Go back to the well, and uh, we get long dollars R through 50. That's all I got for you. Uh, could be a very summery, summer trade vibe today in the marketplace. We shall see. Either way, good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.